Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to look at um, a good example of how to use MT Predictor. Uh, in this case, it's on the US markets on the ES yesterday. But before we start looking at the uh, chart, let's just have a look at our risk disclaimer. Just remind you all that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades were taken. They're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Also remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing. All professional traders know that losses can and will and do unfold. I'll say that again. Losses can and will and do unfold. Remind you all that all trade decisions are your own sole responsibility. <clears throat> Let's just minimize down. Today's quite unique in the videos that I normally do because I want to show you how you can work forward of the market. And I want to start by just playing a section of a recording of our MT Predictor training webinar that unfolded yesterday. And I just want to show you how in that training webinar live at the time, I then set out uh, of an, a basic forecast or anticipation of what the ES may do over the next few hours ahead. So I wanted to do this to show you uh, basically how to uh, anticipate potential trades in advance. In other words, work forward of the market. And this is a very good example because this was actually recorded at the time live in our training webinar we did yesterday. So let's just watch the video for a bit and then we'll follow up on what the market actually did after the forecast. Remember, this was done live at the time in our training webinar yesterday. So let's just watch this for a couple of minutes. Questions while we look at the uh, e-minis, let's go out to the higher time frame chart, see where we are at the moment. Let's clear everything off. Interesting enough, here's the last high on the 15 minutes. With right mouse click, do DP, and look where we are so far today. Right at 15 minute resistance. Coming down here to the three minutes. I wonder if now we're going to get an ABC correction up here somewhere to get a some kind of sell setup to then get a decline down. If we if we if we do get an ABC correction here, then the next support level would be off this low. down here. So you can see how I'm starting to build a potential trade setup in advance, even before the market even gets there. It's exactly what I was doing on the NQ yesterday, looking at the high time frame resistance, look for initial decline, looking for an ABC correction, then for a potential decline. That didn't unfold. That's just the way it is. Don't, they don't always unfold. But you can see how you don't have to sit here and wait for a scanner. You don't have to wait for um, alerts to come up in your scanner, you can start to potentially think in, in advance, think ahead of the market. So you start to look at this and say, well, potentially there could be an ABC correction up here that could unfold in around here somewhere. You know, if the market goes up a bit, down a bit, up a bit, it's around here. That could be like in the next half an hour. So you're working ahead. You see how I mean? You know, you're there ready. You don't have to get into reaction mode. You're there looking ahead that if that unfolds, then that could be a potential trade. Not saying it's going to unfold, not saying it's going to happen, or if it does unfold, is it going to go to this target? We just don't know. But this is the kind of thing you can do to look in advance. Now, obviously, this would be not... Right, as you can see, we've set up for a potential trade setup where on the three minute ES you can see we had our 15 minute DP nailing the high there and what I was saying live again I want to stress that was actually live in our training webinar we were looking for or we saw that we had initial decline down we were then looking for a corrective ABC <coughs> rally back up for potential sell setup into there's our potential target uh, down there as you can see well ahead of anything that was unfolding at the time Right, so let's now um, look and actually see what the market actually did. So I'll just minimise that down. Here I've used training, mar, uh, training mode on the ES yesterday. And as you can see, I've set up the chart to uh, basically uh, what we had in the webinar. So that was the webinar live at the time. This is now the chart as well. So let's just move forward and see actually what unfolded later in the day after the forecast I made. Let's just step forward. <clears throat> the market actually climbed down a little bit. We had a TS1 sell setup. Now we wouldn't be looking to uh, trade this one because as I said in the, uh, the webinar live, that was our 15 minute resistance. We're then looking for initial decline down, an ABC correction up, 
to then get a sell set up down into potentially this support level. Also our MTP trend was red, therefore this was against a potentially larger degree down uh, downtrend. Let's move forward. You can see it started to rally up a little bit, up a bit, up a bit, not much unfolding here, up a bit, up a bit, and then suddenly we get a TS1 holy grail trade setup. Now for you guys who've been following MT Predictor for a while, you'll know that the Holy Grail trade setup is one of my favorite trade setups because it is a uh, potential wave two and it is then giving you a potential wave three swing. What do we mean by that is that if this is a major high which came in at higher time frame resistance which we have the initial decline down would be wave one the initial correction up would be wave two and ideally this should subdivide as a minor ABC. So if we right mouse click place the analysis on you can see that's exactly what we had ABC. <clears throat> so from here we'd anticipate the market was then going to climb down into the typical wave 3 WPT. And as you can see, that's coincidentally also in the area we had uh, as a support zone literally half an hour earlier for uh, potential support of the market. But can you see how this was all set up much, much earlier in the day? Right back when I went to here, I was talking about this very same thing. Even before the market got there, we're anticipating a move down, then a corrective rally up into an ABC correction for a sell down into that target. So that's exactly now what's unfolded. And that was, uh, what, 30 minutes uh, earlier. So we were making that forecast around 11 o'clock. This is now uh, unfolded at 12 o'clock. So an hour before it even got there, we were anticipating it, getting ready for it. So as you can see, this would be a good trade to take. We then move forward. It would then take you into the trade. The market went sideways for a couple of bars and then started to decline down. So let's see how it unfolded. So I'll turn training mode off and this is what unfolded for the rest of the day. So as you can see, it unfolded exactly as we anticipated. There was our holy grail sell setup. The market went down hit our typical wave 3 WPT target down there. We'd also came in around our major support zone. And again, remember, that was placed on the chart right back here at 11 o'clock in the morning. We placed that on the chart and it uh, didn't get there until quarter to four in the afternoon. The result was a nice 5.6 hour profit. In other words, the profit here was large in relation to the initial risks. This is why we like the Holy Grail trade setup is because when the losses come through and they will come through, Remember I said at the beginning, all professional traders know and uh, understand that losses can and will and do happen. But when they come through, the loss was kept small. In other words, one risk unit. But when it um, comes through well, and particularly with this holy grail, because the wave three is the strongest and longest wave in a completed five wave sequence. So this gets you in at the smallest initial risk for potentially the largest profit. In this case, the profit was plus 5.6 R. There was also an opportunity to pyramid, or I'll just put that uh, DP support zone back on the chart there again, as we had. There it is. There's the support zone. We also had an opportunity opportunity to pyramid. Now there was add to a winning trade at this TS4 cell set up here. Whoops, missed it on my mouse. There it is. There's the cell set up there. If we take the uh, profit down into that large degree DP, that was potentially can I say approximately 3R? So you had the opportunity to do a second trade or a pyramid to add another 3R profit to that particular trade. So a good example of pyramiding for the more uh, experienced users. But the main reason for doing this whole video uh, today is to show you how to work in advance of the market and to show you a trade setup that was all anticipated in advance in our live training webinar literally an hour before it unfolded. So this showed you how once we had the 15 minute DP on we're anticipating an initial decline, anticipating there may be an ABC correction, they don't always unfold uh, as we saw in the video and uh, the NQ we were looking at the day before didn't unfold but again we we're using the same process to uh, potentially uh, uncover that trade but today on the ES literally an hour later after we'd anticipated what uh, uh, we're looking for, an hour later we got our TS1 uh, Holy Grail trade set up and as you can see this was the result, the market came down for a nice 5.6 hour profit. Incidentally our 15 minute DP there nailed the high of the day and our target, our DP target down here 
pretty much nailed the low of the day for you as well. So hopefully this has been a very good example to show you how to use, best to use MT Predictor. Again, MT Predictor should not be used as a black box system. I don't believe systems like that work because of the cyclical nature of trading. What we're looking to do is trying to um, work with when the, uh, the picture is ideal. We get a nice clear clean picture and when that happens to show you how you can work forward of the market and anticipate potential trade setups uh, just like we've seen in the video today. So a good example of how best to use MT Predictor that as you can see did a very good uh, job on the ES, nailing the high of the day, nailing the low of the day and getting some lovely trade setups uh, along the way as well. Just to remind you that you wouldn't be looking to take these buy setups here because again the large degree trend would be down because that was our 15 minute resistance. Here our MTP trend was red so you wouldn't even consider this. We wouldn't want to take this TS3 buy setup because again we're anticipating or we anticipated right from the start the large degree trend would be down so therefore we'd want to hold our profitable short trade into its target. So a great example of how best to use MT Predictor uh, particularly as the whole this whole trade setup was set up in advance in our live training uh, webinar. So a good day for MT Predictor yesterday and hopefully this shows how best to use MT Predictor um, in the markets with a great example on the ES that unfolded yesterday which was May the 9th.